Hi, my name is Jason Kleindenst, and I'm here to show you the input and the proper setup. Inside of your box, you'll find a small bag that contains the T's and the strings that you're going to need for setting up your input for the first time. The first thing that you're going to do when setting up the input is you're going to find a nice flat location on your practice screen. How we do this is grab a few golf balls and find somewhere that looks relatively flat and then you're going to go ahead and hit a couple balls just to make sure that it's not breaking or hitting any debris. So we've determined that this area right here is relatively flat. The ball didn't break, there's a nice clean green, nothing to impede the ball's trajectory. So you're going to walk towards the hole with the tees and the strings provided. If you're right-handed, you're going to stand on the right side of the hole. If you're left-handed, on the left side of the hole. I'm going to demonstrate right-handed setup because I'm right-handed. We're going to put the heel of our putter on the edge of the cup. Then place the first tee in the center of the club face. Press it in, but not too far. We're gonna have to hook the string to it and we want the string up off the ground so it doesn't hit the input when we're setting it up. Go ahead and place one end of the string around the tee and walk back towards where we placed our other balls. Be careful not to pull the string too tight but we do want it nice and taut. Now you're going to take your input, move somewhere into the center of the string. About three feet away from the hole is a good spot to start. Now this is just so that we can get used to how the input works. There's two long white lines on the input. It's critical that those white lines line up with the orange string. This ensures that everything is aligned properly. For the initial setup, you want to use the input near the center of the string. This is while you're learning how everything works and learning to keep your club face square to the product. Once you're aligned under the string with the two long white lines directly under the orange string, you press firmly down in the center of the product and place your golf tees being sure not to move it. This will allow you to rest the heel of your putter against the input without moving it. You should be very careful not to put too much pressure on it either way. At the end of the day, you're not going to be putting with the input. You're going to be putting with no help whatsoever. So it's important to learn to putt without a whole lot of pressure, uh, relying on the input for your stroke. You're going to set up over the input without any balls at this point. You just want to feel the stroke, feel the product and how the product works. You'll take notice to the lines on top of the product. These are the lines that you're going to use to keep the face of your putter square. As you practice your stroke, you're going to be sure to keep that putter face square to those lines the whole way back, the whole way forward. You may not use the entire input depending on how far away from the hole you are. That's okay. Get a feel for how your putter moves along the input. Once you feel comfortable, go ahead and bring the balls up. There's a large white dot on the input. This represents the location where your ball is going to be placed. With the heel of your putter back against the input, you want to make sure that the ball is lined up in the center of the putter face. It's important when practicing with the input that the heel of the putter stays back against the product. This is going to give you the perfect stroke while you focus on making sure that your putter face is perfectly square. There's a heel on the back of the input. This is to make sure that you don't have a backswing that comes back too far. There's no need to go any further than the last white line. The heel is just there to remind you if you've done it wrong. On the other end, as you follow through, it's important not to go past the front of the input. Because we're only about three feet away from the hole, we're not going to need a long backswing. So be careful that you're not hitting the ball too hard. With a nice gentle stroke, remembering to accelerate as you move forward, focus on keeping the putter face perfectly square. All the way back, 
and forward. And if the alignment is correct and you've kept your face perfectly square, you can count on that ball going in the hole every time. You can repeat this over and over and over for as long as you feel comfortable at that distance. As soon as you're ready, it's okay to move the in putt back as far as you like. That's six putts in a row at around three feet. Pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and move it back and see what happens. Now here we set up at about six feet from the hole. We're gonna do the same thing we did at three feet. Go ahead and practice your swing a couple strokes and then move a ball in and check to see how we do. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's take a couple more shots. A few things to consider when you're using the input. The input is not a variable. The variables are your stance, your swing, whether your face is opening or closing, if you're staying tight against the back of the input. So if your ball's not traveling to the same spot every time, there's a few things to consider. If it's missing to one side or the other consistently, then you might have to adjust the input or be careful that your face isn't consistently open or consistently closed. Pay special attention to the putter face when you're putting. Don't worry about if the ball's going into the hole or not. It's in making sure that your face is perfectly aligned that you can get rid of your problems with opening and closing the face. Now we're gonna show the use of the input without the string. Again, we can use this on flat terrain or terrain that's not perfectly flat. It's gonna help us put the ball in the same place every time. For demonstration purposes, we're gonna go ahead and stick this somewhere close to where we were putting. Now without the alignment string, I can't see what the perfect alignment is. So I'm just gonna guess, try to get it pretty close. Place the tees in the input to keep it from sliding around and then see how we've done with our alignment. Now for the initial setup, it's not important that the ball goes in the hole. It's just that wherever the ball goes, it's going there consistently each time. So we'll hit three balls just to make sure that we are being consistent in our stroke and stance. Now all three balls went just left of the hole. So I know that I'm being consistent, but the input isn't precisely aligned. That's okay. Just pull the front tee out of the input, make a slight adjustment, stick the tee back in and try again. <laughs> 